In an unpredictable move, Egyptian authorities opened the Rafah border crossing at the border with the Gaza Strip on Saturday for four consecutive days. The move was to allow the travel of hundreds of stranded Palestinians into and out of the blockaded territory. Saturday's opening is considered the first opening of the Rafah crossing since at the start of the year. Egyptian authorities reopened the Rafah border crossing today morning for the third consecutive day regarding the travel movement. 650 people traveled through the Rafah border yesterday with 400 others on the previous day, which means that a total of about 1,200 passengers were allowed to exit Gaza within two days. Also, about 1,300 people returned to Gaza yesterday with 300 others on the previous day. The passengers will now be able to travel directly through the outer terminal without the need to hand over their passports, which according to a statement by Hamas was previously necessary. According to the Ministry of Interior in Gaza, about 20,000 people with humanitarian cases are registered to travel through the Rafah border. Egypt has kept the crossing almost permanently sealed since 2015 due to security instability in Sinai. However, authorities have increased the number of people allowed to exit Gaza through the Rafah crossing, as ties with Hamas have remarkably improved in recent months. The Rafah crossing was last opened in mid-December 2016 for four days after repeated Palestinian demands from officials in Cairo. Nuhar Zintrisu TV, Gaza.